Go see your teachers around the block so they did an outstanding job with all these arts and crafts. Go to the staff, thank you very much here at Bradley Elementary School. It wouldn't be possible without your hard work and dedication. And to all the parents lined up outside, we thank you for trusting and believing in us here in Asbury Park to provide your children with the best education that we can do for you on behalf of these uh, students. So, um, breast cancer is something that impacts our communities and our moms and aunts and cousins. Um, I'm presently supporting my sister-in-law who right now battling stage two breast cancer. Uh, she has a walk tomorrow, so I'll be down in Maryland supporting her. Um, and so to all of the survivors, I know your families appreciate the strength and the courage and the conviction that you have every day to battle this cure. To those of you who have family members, please make sure you encourage them to go get those mammograms. Please encourage them to go get those mammograms. Early detection saves lives. Early detection saves lives. And so with that, we have our Grand Marshal. I want to bring her up because it's not about me, it's about her. Yes, Miss Anna, it's proof of that today. It's during those times the cancer's mentioned, we all need some positive thinking. In closing, breast cancer, the breast cancer fight here at Bradley in elementary, no one will ever fight alone. Cancer might have taken loved ones from us and it has caused others to be in the fight of their lives, but there are some things cancer cannot do. Cancer is so limited. It cannot cripple love. It cannot shatter hope. It cannot corrode faith. It cannot destroy peace. It cannot kill friendships. It cannot suppress memories. It cannot silence courage. It cannot invade the soul. It cannot steal internal life. It cannot conquer the spirit. Today, I proudly wear pink in love and memory of my mother, Pastor Margaret Sumrey Drawn, and my sister, Michelle Lynn Jackson. It is also an honor and privilege to wear pink in celebration of Miss Anna, who has fought cancer and is a survivor. So at this time, I would like to introduce and present to some others, Miss Anna, I am a survivor, says Diego, for a few words. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Anna Santiago Gonzalez. I am a breast cancer survivor. share how my journey began, but most importantly, what you can do to protect yourself. Over two years ago, on May 18, 2019, I noticed I had an itch on my right breast, and then I felt a lump. I was scared, but I knew I needed to get to the doctor right away. Then after lots of testing on June 11, I got the results from the doctors who told me I had stage A, stage 1A breast cancer. And immediately, I began a very long medical journey that would change my life forever. Thankfully, under the care of my incredible doctors, nurses, surgeons, I have been cancer-free for the past two years. 